is good everybody welcome to an epic my am toys video today ladies and gentlemen it is time for our final day of san diego comic-con 2020 reveals for you guys as you guys know the past few days three four five days we have had reveals man we have had our san diego comic-con 2020 hasn't been in person hasn't had you know a bunch of interviews and a bunch of you know in live person seeing figures on display and seeing prototypes like that we have been seeing images over the last few days tons and tons of images actually like so many images i think it's over like 250 50 total images or something like that of WWE figures. I think it totals around 80 to 90 brand new wrestling action figures that we have seen this week as it refers to San Diego Comic Con. But today is our final day, guys. We got a look at Fan Central Takeover Series 2, and we also have some new basics to take a look at. So let's go ahead and get in, guys. Let's go ahead and start off with Fan Takeover Series 2. This is, of course, the voters version. You guys remember we saw the Rollins, the Cole, the Shayna Baszler, and the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Now we're taking a look at Christian. Gargano, Randy Orton, and X-Pac. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Starting off with Christian first. Now, this is the one that everyone voted for, a figure that we already had, and this is our 2011 Flip the Switch Christian here in the purple and black. We already have an elite of this figure. This is going to be a re-release. It is going to come with the World Heavyweight Championship, and I hope that it comes with a cloth t-shirt, at least that Flip the Switch t-shirt. At least I hope so. But um, I would have definitely loved to seen the WrestleMania 20 white attire. I know we we, we've said it, you know, it's over now, I'm not going to complain about it anymore, but it really would have been nice, it would have been nice, this is going to be the last video, I guess, uh, or, or I may just mention it every time I see this figure, maybe even in the review, I'm just going to look at it and make a meme out of it or something, but WrestleMania 20 Christian would have definitely been nice, this head sculpt does look to be a better version of the previous head sculpt we've seen of Christian like this, it could just be a true effects version, I could be wrong about that, but this is what we're getting for Christian World Heavyweight Championship, nothing too crazy about it, re-release for sure, interchangeable hands, you guys can see there not much else next up guys is johnny gargano in the wolverine gear and everything looks good except for the blatant lower legs that we've seen and i think they've addressed this before they said they can't change it or they're not gonna change it it's not gonna change it's just not gonna change i don't think they're gonna be able to put the rips in the vest i i guess not the attire looks great you know it looks everything's dandy you got the nxt on the entrance jacket you got the great colors popping off and everything like that but they are not going to have the lower legs. The lower legs are still going to be that issue that we've seen with previous Johnny Gargano's. His other two elites had an exact issue. Uh, the Viking Raiders figures have that issue. The Kevin Owens figure has that issue. The short kick pads, I don't, I don't know why that happens. I'm not exactly sure what the deal is. But this Johnny Gargano Fan Takeover Series 2 figure will also feature that. It does have the ripped up torso. It does look good in that regard. I like everything going on with it. But the lower legs are an issue. And it does not have the three slashes when it comes to the uh, the vest, the entrance vest. But other than that, I think the Johnny Gargano colors look great. You know, the, the good contrast, good pop. It pops off the figure. It looks really good. But again, same issues as before with our Johnny Gargano figure. But, you know, maybe we can figure out a fix-up or some sort of swap that we can do to fix it. But for now, there it is in all of its glory. And I'm actually interested to see what the mock images of these figures is going to look like. I hope they go with, like, uh, a really cool packaging for the Fan Takeover series. But next up, guys, is going to be Randy. Orton. Now, the one that won the vote, I could have sworn, was WrestleMania 20 in the gold and blue, but this seems to be the silver or like a royal blue and white gear. Like, I don't know where this is coming from. His Royal Rumble gear was like a lighter blue with like silver details and black outline, and then his WrestleMania 20 was supposed to be blue, like a royal blue color or like a darkish bluish color with like gold and black trim. So I'm not exactly sure. You know, it does come with the Oval Intercontinental Championship, which is always beautiful to see. And I love me some Randy Orton figures and the flashbacks look great. I love Randy Orton. So you guys know I have no issues with that. I'm going to pick it up anyways, but that is something to note here. It kind of looks like a flashback Orton with reverse Elite 35 Randy Orton trunks is kind of what it looks like to me. But there is our Randy Orton figure with the open knee pads, white tape on the arms, which is pretty cool to see. I don't think we've seen a flashback Orton with that yet. It's usually just regular wrist tape, so that's cool to see. But there is our Randy Orton. And finishing it off, guys, do have X-Pac, who is in his NWO black and white gear. I like the kick pads. I like the trunks. I like uh, I like everything that's going on with this figure. The head sculpt looks pretty solid. I like the torso. I, I like all of it. I like all of it. You know, I like the X-Pac. I like the headband. Only thing I'd say is maybe a cloth NWO t-shirt would be pretty cool. I know we've gotten the rubber, like, you know, muscle tee before, like the Ryback style shirt with his flashback figure, so they'll probably end up throwing that in if they can't get a cloth one in there, but it does look like his legs. It looks like he has like the James Ellsworth tights mold type deal going on where, 
it looks like he has longer uh, tights instead of skin tone right there so I don't know if that'll change upon final production but he also comes with uh, DX chop hands and he also comes with the devil horn hands but as far as the fan central takeover series 2 guys that is the complete wave overall thoughts I would just say Wrestlemania 20 Christian would have been better and then the lower legs of Johnny Gargano would have been nice and then there's questionable stuff about the Randy Orton because I don't know I, I, I don't know I could be confused on the gear but I could have sworn that was the gear that won but now guys let's dive into basic series what basic series is this basic series 111 let's start things off with the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt figure. Now, this actually has more details going on with it than the ringside exclusive that we're going to be getting. It does have the khaki pants. I know the ringside exclusive was a prototype. It's not going to have the belly button on there, but they are not going to have this kind of torso. It's going to be literal painted on torso. It's not going to have the collar of the shirt like you're seeing on the basic here. So that is something to take note of, man. You know, if uh, maybe I'm sure BEW could do some really cool stuff like sculpting on the torso, like uh, adding some details around the collar or something like that he could probably do some magic and uh, possibly do like some textured sleeves or something there's I don't know man I think that would have been much better than just a painted on torso without the collar but this basic looks good I like the head sculpt the only thing I'll say about the head sculpt is it kind of looks like his eyes are a little too far apart I feel like Bray Wyatt has his eyes are supposed to be closer together so the lightness is kind of missing he kind of looks like Tucker a little bit I don't know or something like that I feel like the eyes need to be a little bit closer together but I do like the hair color I like the you know the man bun and everything like that looks good and I like it overall I just think the eyes could be a little bit closer together and I don't think this is the same exact head sculpt from the ringside exclusive so that is good to note next up guys is also going to be Jeff Hardy so Jeff Hardy is getting a face paint in this figure wave here with basic series 111 and for some reason this figure just looks odd to me I think it's because the face paint doesn't cover the full face it's like it's kind of uh it should have went a little bit more to the edge, so it's just kind of throwing off the proportions of the faces. Because if you guys can see, on this face paint, it's supposed to be like a face on the side of his face. And then another face looking the other way on the other side. And it just gets lost in translation. Like you can see on the packaging, it looks a lot better than it does on the figure. I'm not sure exactly if that's because of the colors or it's because the lip color is silver instead of black. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe you could fix that up, paint the lips black, and uh, maybe extend the green color a little bit with your own paint or something, or add like a black outline around it. There's something off about it that makes it just look a little bit off or something like that that's not really uh, translating from the packaging to the figure itself. But uh, Jeff Hardy is not the only figure, guys. You also are going to have, and another thing to add is this is the same Jeff Hardy head sculpt just painted over again. This is the same Jeff Hardy head sculpt we've gotten with the last 10 basic Jeff Hardys, it seems like. But next up, guys, we do have Eric Rowan. Now, Eric Rowan is kind of a plain, this is a very plain Jane basic. And it's also, uh, I didn't even know Eric Rowan was still in the company. I feel like I haven't seen him in a little while now. But Eric Rowan does have his full sleeve tats, which is pretty cool. He also has the same head sculpt we got with the Elite 66 Bludgeon Brothers. I do believe, was that was that the, uh, I believe that was the wave, was the Elite 66 Bludgeon Brothers. The same exact Eric Rowan head sculpt. Very plain Jane, uh, black tank top. You got the uh, brown khakis in there. Nothing too, uh, you know, special about this basic here. Next up is Kevin Owens, and my boy Kevin Owens is looking good with his tattoos. The one thing I will say is that his face scan in this figure looks a lot better than his Elite. Maybe it's because the there it doesn't look like this one has eyeliner on. I'll pull up a side-by-side -side so you guys can look at it for yourselves. But I'm liking this head sculpt much better than the Elite that we saw from Elite 80 Kevin Owens. So what I'll probably do is take this guy, do a head swap, and then I'll paint this head sculpt up the way I think it should be painted give it a fade stuff of that nature that way uh you know i can make the head sculpt look exactly how i want it to look because again i love the beard thickness and i like the way the hair looks i just need to paint it up i think because the eyes on the elite look look way worse than this i i love the way this head sculpt looks on this basic so i'll probably have to switch that up a little bit get some stuff going but i do like the kevin owens basic head sculpt and then finishing it off guys we have two different versions of nikki cross and I don't know what's up. This this head sculpt is definitely much better than her last head sculpt, I would say. Her last head sculpt was Sanity, and this one is more of her Bliss Cross applesauce, you know, uh, gimmick and attire. So this looks much better than her Elite as far as head sculpts are concerned. But her face does, it's just making a weird face. It's just like her face 
that she's making is a little bit off. I would say that the lightness is there, but her facial expression is definitely weird or something. And she obviously has grown her hair out since that Elite and uh, I think this head sculpt looks better for sure. And what I'll probably do is just throw this head sculpt onto her Elite for better articulation, stuff like that. So until we get a new Nikki Cross, which I'm sure will be coming down the line. Because we are getting our Elite Series 82 Alexa Bliss with the Women's Tag Team Championship. So that means that Nikki Cross could not be far behind. And I'm sure we'll get another one of those in probably one of these attires in Elite form for that. But that is pretty much it, guys. We just got the basic wave. And then we got our Fan Takeover Series 2 render images. And uh, that was pretty much it. I, I imagine that a lot of these things should be coming in stock very soon. I imagine the WCW Goldberg, Goldberg 2-pack should be coming in soon. Uh, you got uh, Elite 78, I think, is already shipping. So if you guys are looking for that, I think that is coming in stock uh, as we speak. So that, those should be rolling out. Another thing I just noticed is Jeff Hardy's uh, sleeves do not go onto the hands. I don't know. I, I don't know if he just wore a regular long sleeve with that attire or they just left off the blue paint on the hands there. But nonetheless, that is pretty much it for all the reveals, guys. Uh, I had a ton of fun reviewing all these figures, taking a look at them, giving you my own personal thoughts and opinions on them. I think we overall we got a beautiful set of figures coming in. I think there were some questionable decisions when it comes to some of these things. You know, I, again, I don't run the figure companies. I don't know what goes into them. I don't know what they got to do and what they got to do to make cuts and, you know, certain things they can and can't do when making figures. But I think we do have a lot of great things coming our way, especially some things I'm really excited about. I am going to make a top 10 figures that I'm excited about going into uh, Comic-Con. You know, my most wanted figures, my top 10 figures that were shown off, so I will get into that video. That'll probably be uploaded tomorrow, most likely, so we'll see about that, but that pretty much does it for our final day of reveal, guys. If we get any more reveals, I will definitely post them up to you guys, let you guys know about it and everything like that, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.